Hey everybody, how's it going? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about loops and we're going to talk about the loops that are in Mac, in GarageBand already, and we're going to talk about how to record your own stuff and then loop that. And so let's get right to it. All right, here you'll see the new project window for GarageBand. In the upper left hand corner, you can see that I have already created an acoustic channel, uh, but we'll come back and deal with this later. For now, we're going to talk about the loops that are built into GarageBand. So if you go down here to the right hand, lower right hand corner, you'll see three little icons. You want the one with the eyeball. When you drag and wait over it, it will say view slash hide the loop browser. We want to view the loop browser, so we're going to click on it. So inside here, you have this is where all the the drums, the basses, the guitars, all those kinds of things, all the percussion, everything is inside this loop browser. So let's just do some drums today. And let's just try uh, this one right here. So as you can see, all I'd have to do to listen to any of these is click on it once. I click on it once and I can hear it, I click on it again and it goes away. Right. So that's the drums. Um, let's find something here. I don't know, anything will work. Let's try Funky Pop Drum 7. Right? So say we like this one. Click on it, hold the mouse down, and drag it over just like any other Mac thing. And you can see that it's already automatically creating a channel. So I bring it in there, I let it go, and boom, we get the title, we have a little icon of the drums, and here is our loop. All right, now, obviously, that's a little too short to play anything to, so we probably want to loop this. So, you take the mouse, come up here, over the region itself, and as you move the mouse around this area, you'll see that it's changing, the, the cursor is changing. So right here, this one, that's the arrow, but it's curved around, that's the loop tool. So click, hold, and drag to the right, and we get a loop. Let's listen to that. Right? Now, there's another th tool here, another hidden tool. If you drag your mouse down here to the lower right hand corner, you get a different tool. Here's the loop one, here's the ed editor one. So this one actually will shorten the clip or lengthen it back to as long as it originally is. You can do it from either end. So you can decide I want just the second half or I want just the first half. Let's say we just want the first half. You can see at the top it goes down here to number three. So if I just scroll this back down to number two, and then I go up here and I loop that. Now I'm just looping the first half of that. So we won't have that more that part that was more of a fill. Let's listen to this. Right? So that's that. This is a really nice thing to be able to do because there's lots of loops inside a garage band, but sometimes you don't want all of it. So this is the fastest way to edit it down. You don't have to cut and, you know, no deleting parts or anything. It's all there. And it makes it a lot easier to deal with in the future. If the loop isn't perfect or something, it's a lot easier to deal with it like this. All right, now let's do an acoustic track. So first thing we want to do is mute this one and we want to select the acoustic track. And acoustic, I'll just say acoustic, I'm not going to actually play the guitar. I'm just going to say something. And so I also want to turn off the metronome because I don't want to hear that. Let's turn the metronome off and record something. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Woohoo! All right, there's my stupid little thing. And so here we can see it. And let's go down to the editor, which is down here, so we can see the waveform a little bit better. Now inside here, you get the same tools that you have up here that I was just showing you. Uh, the loop one is here, and the one to make it shorter or longer is right here. So let's just uh, go down here, and let's just bring it right up to the point where I start speaking. And let's bring it back to the point where I stop speaking. 
And then we'll go back up here and we will just loop that and it would sound like this. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Woohoo! Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Woohoo! Hello, hello, hello. Right? So that is plenty annoying. This is a great way to, uh, if you ever capture recordings of your friend saying stupid things, it's a really easy way to make them feel even worse about it. Um, so that's it. Those are the two different easy ways to create the loops inside of Max and uh, using GarageBand, the best home recording program ever. And uh, that's it for now. So have a good day. Hey, I just wanted to add one thing. I don't know what happened in the video when I was doing the screen capture, but the mouse, the icon for the mouse, the cursor, didn't actually change. So I wanted to repeat again and say that when you do go to the region, inside the region, when I say region, I mean that little colored area with the recording inside of it. When you go to the upper right hand corner or the lower right hand corner or the lower left hand corner, the icon for the mouse will change, the cursor will change to a little circular thing with an arrow, a flat bar with an arrow, and same on the lower left hand corner. So I promise they will change. I don't know what happened in the video. Sorry about that. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.